<laughs> Eddie, I've heard. Oh, crumbs. Oh. Wow, that's different. Oh, crikey. Oh, I don't think I'm ready for this. <laughs> Where did it go? Oh, yeah, there's the head swish of approval. See, you're just being fussy, aren't you, for some reason? I don't know why she's being so fussy today. I think it is literally that she just wants the grass. Just look at her now, she's quite happy. So I've actually got the new saddle on this Nelly new right now. Um, a new treeless saddle that I bought for Woody that I'm now riding Nelly in. Lol. Um, yeah, things escalated. Oh dear, are we done? Oh dear. Uh oh. Um, yeah, so I put it on Nelly as well. And um, she also goes, have a, no, actually, no, I'm not giving you a long rain because you'll just start bloody eating again. I was going to say I have a long rain, but I can't trust her at the moment. Um, yes, so Nelly also seems to be enjoying the new saddle. However, she's not enjoying going to work today at all. Ooh. Thank you. I was hoping to take her up the hill um, for a good gallop because she hasn't had one in a couple of weeks, but... I don't think her head's in the game today, to be honest. She just wants to stuff her face. I mean, I get it. I, I really do relate. All I want to do right now is curl up in bed and stuff my face. But, you know, we've got to exercise if we want to stuff our faces, babe. Otherwise, we get fat. And you are somewhat prone to getting fat, aren't you, dear? Mm. So we have to exercise. Oh, so yeah. We've um, got the new saddle on Nelly New. It is very comfortable. She is molting like crazy, as you can see. Um, so I took her over a little test ride in it yesterday and basically had the same experience with her as what I had with Woody. So felt very connected to her. Everything felt more fluid and smooth. Um, she seemed to be striding out better. Um, and her saddle, like her normal saddle is like fine on her we've never really had a problem with saddle fitting on her she's quite a straightforward shape um and yeah even on her i was like wow this is so much better so i think i might rapidly be becoming a treeless saddle convert so yeah very much enjoying the new saddle very much enjoying it uh my only mm, slight negative with it at this point and it's it's a me negative not a saddle negative uh is that i feel somewhat unbalanced in it at the moment well, um, no i don't know if that's the right word actually i feel like i'm in a better position and i am in a better position but that is making me in my head feel unbalanced because i'm not used to sitting in this position on my horses if that makes any sense at all um, so basically, because it's so different to what I'm used to, I feel a bit wobbly, a bit uneasy. Um, yeah, it's just, it's different. It's going to take some getting used to, that's for damn sure. And like I said, part of my plan today was to go on a really long one with Madam here, do some canter gallop work and, you know, kind of do the straight or the deep end theory. But clearly somebody ain't feeling it, are you? No. This fine, we'll take Mr. Woodstar out in it later as well. Mm. Mm. Oh, and as if by magic we find our motivation now. <laughs> <laughs> oh Nelly, you're funny. You're funny. See, I bet if I did take her up that hill, I bet she'd get up there and go, oh actually this is fun. Yeah, let's do this. But eh. I'm kind of over it to be honest. I don't think I could handle like a two and a half hour ride in this saddle. I think I yeah. I think I was being over ambitious with the straight in at the deep end plan there. That would not have ended well. Because oh my groin. I can definitely appreciate the width 
of my horse a bit more in this saddle. And uh, our horses are wide anyway. I don't quite know how it works. I don't quite understand how. But then again, I suppose if you ride bareback, your horse feels wider. Well, these ones do anyway. I don't know. Maybe the shape of the seat on a traditional saddle kind of mm, eases you into it. I don't know. I don't understand how it works, but I, I'm definitely feeling the groin strain. Let's put it that way. Wide load alert, isn't it, Nelly? You're a very wide load. Man, I need some chocolate. Oh, so much chocolate. Ooh, I wonder if Domino's is open. Ooh, now that is a very bad good idea because it's a good idea because it's food and it's a lot of it and it's hot and it's cheesy and delicious, but it's a bad idea because I will probably end up in a food coma for at least an hour after devouring it because I will get a large pizza because I'm a greedy bugger. And um, yeah, I will eat it all in one sitting. Again, because I'm, I'm a greedy bugger. Oh, but I do want it. <clears throat> Depends if I'm willing to sacrifice an hour of my afternoon to a food coma really, doesn't it? Because, I mean, I'm sure I can spare an hour. It's, it's cool, it's my day off. I think, I think I should do it. I think we should do it in Italy. Nelly, I'm gonna get pizza. And guess what? You can have haylage. <laughs> I feel like I'm winning on that one. Where are we going, Zigzag? Oh, we're homing in on green stuff again, huh? Yes, yes, you are. I see what you're doing there. So this is interesting. Um, Nelly seems to be tackling the downhill maneuver much easier than she normally does. Um, She's always struggled going downhill. Like it's just always been a weak point for her. Going uphill, she'll absolutely bomb it. But going downhill, she's just always struggled a little bit. Um, but she seems more comfortable and again, more sort of fluid. I wonder if, um, I wonder if she's got a bit more freedom of movement in her shoulder and that's making it easier for her. Very interesting. I'm officially converted, aren't I? It's just gonna have a tack room full of treeless saddles by the end of the year. I can see it coming. I, I can just, I know what's gonna happen. I know me. I know when I get a thing in my head, I just, I go for it. What the hell is that? There's a thing. Okay. I don't know what that is. Oh, I think it's a vehicle of some kind. Okay. Nelly, you capable of walking in a straight line? Let's you. What's she doing? She's trying to go for the grass over there. And then I'm like, no. And then she's like, okay, I'll go for the grass on this side. And then I'm like, no. And then she just keeps repeating. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, what are we going to do about this then, Nelly? Going that way. All right. <laughs> Good girl. Yeah, it's a strange thing, isn't it? Good girl. Gonna crap your pants? Or are you gonna be a brave girl? Her ass is gonna overtake her head, isn't it? Yep, told ya. <laughs> oh look, there's energy in there. Now, if he follows us all the way home, we'll get some good work out of her now. Oh, he's turning around, that's a pity. <laughs> Nelly says, I don't like that thing. This amuses me greatly. I don't know why she's so uppity about it. She doesn't mind motorbikes and stuff like that. Maybe it's because it sounds like a bike, but it doesn't look like a bike. Maybe it's screwing with her head. What do we reckon, bro? Is it screwing with your head? Oh my goodness. Damn, she feels good in this saddle. Just, I can't put into words how different they feel. I just need to learn how to ride in the bloody thing now and not look like a strange sack of potatoes with flappy legs. Um, Cause I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm feeling a little, when, when there's bigger movement underneath me, I, I'm feeling like I've not got much to cling on to. Um, 
Ugh. But it's good. Like I said, it's what I wanted. I wanted a saddle that was minimal. I didn't want big knee rolls and fussy bits. And I just, I just wanted a really simple, close contact, comfortable, easy saddle. And I basically got what I wanted. Uh, with the bonus of the fact that it now fits all of my horses. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I do need to learn to ride in the dancing. It's a bit embarrassing, really. I'm glad nobody can see me right now. And where the hell are my toes going? Like, one of my toes is perfect, and the other one is just... I don't know, it's trying to migrate or something. It's going all sorts of weird places. Guess I need to do some strengthening exercises in that leg. Well, it started chucking it down. Pizza was definitely a good call. So I have been snooping around on all sorts of different forums while I've been stuffing my face with pizza. And yes, I ate it all and I ate the cookie things and no, I have no regrets. I needed that so badly. I was so hungry. <laughs> my legs are burning right now as well, big time. Don't think it helps that I did a bit of an insane leg workout a couple of days ago and then riding on top of that, my legs are basically just throwing up a white flag. So yeah. Yes, but, um, but anyway, yes, I have been snooping around on some forums while I've been eating my dinner. Oh, Nelly's chasing Woody around the yard. Oh, at least he's getting some exercise, that's good, because I ain't taking him out now because my legs are knackered and it's miserable. And it's made of snow today. Like, I just looked at the weather, I was like, oh, I didn't think it was going to rain, so let's just see how long it's going to be here for. And it says, oh, it's going to rain all afternoon and there's a chance of snow. Like, what? No, spring is supposed to be here. We don't want snow. Snow can go away. Just go away. I don't want it. I want spring. I want sunshine and dry weather. I want the fields to dry out so I can get the bloody horses out in the field. But anyway. So it turns out I'm not crazy with the whole treeless saddle feeling wider thing. Um, so I've, like I said, I've trawled through various forums. I've, I've had a look at some threads and some conversations that were going on. And that does seem to be the case that a treeless saddle will make you sit wider than a treed saddle. So at least I'm not going nuts on that one. So I think I was kind of shooting in the right direction with my theory there in that I think I was trying to avoid groin ache because it's wide and it was aching big time. And I think that was just kind of making me sit a bit funny. It was making me grip up with my legs and everything. So that will obviously get better with a bit of practice. Um, oh, my brain's dead and my battery's about to die. Oh dear. So yeah, at least it's not just a me thing. It is a thing thing. It's an actual legitimate thing thing. The saddles sit wide. They hurt my groin, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, our horses are wide as heck anyway. Like if I don't ride Nelly for a couple of weeks and then I get back on her, I'm like, wow, that hurts. That's very wide. Um, she's probably the widest. She definitely gives the widest feel. And oh my goodness, that saddle on top of her. I'm glad I'm not a man, that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, this is, yeah, just leave it at that, I think, shall we? 